So that's the Galaxy G Force GTX 465. Pretty good cooler. Looks like something that sh would have come out of a military base. One of the first coolers I've seen to actually say the video card name on there. And uh, it clearly says Fermi GPU inside and high speed GDDR5 memory and all the tech specs are listed on here 3D vision surround, CUDA, DirectX 11, HDMI, physics so Galaxy recommends a minimum of 550 watt PSU and here's the uh, the unique feature of this video card this features a flip fan it's pretty easy to take out just actually it's pretty hard doing this on camera just you just need to flip these two clips and the fan comes right out just like that so when it gets dirty you can just spray the air you can just spray the dust out of the fan here's a look at the heat sink underneath the fan it looks like a two heat pipe thing they have going on there Uh, moving on to the rest of the video card. It looks a pretty blocky video card. The video card requires two six pin connectors. Here's the PCI Express 2.0 slot. Here is the back panel connectors, two DVI and a mini HDMI. And here are the vent slots. So I'm guessing the video card exits the air out of the back of the case powered by Galaxy logo on here here are the two SLI connectors so you can use this video card in triple SLI configuration so the size on this video card seems pretty reasonable uh, compared to a monster of a video card that I reviewed earlier uh, that too from Galaxy uh, let me pull that into the picture here is the GTX 275 by Galaxy featuring a Arctic Accelero Extreme GTX cooler. Uh, this thing uses is up to triple three slots. Here you can see how much bigger the GTX 275 with that custom cooling solution is. Uses three fans on it. Uh, keeps the video card pretty cool. And let me go show you guys the thickness on these two video cards. Uh, GTX 275 on the right, GTX 465 on the left. So the GTX 275 noticeably thicker. Yeah, triple slots. Heavier too. And not only the video cards, the box that 275 came in is the biggest box I've ever seen. So uh, absolutely dwarfs the 465 box. All right, guys. So it's time to take off that cooler and see what's beneath that cooler and see how the GPU looks and what power circuitry galaxy you're using so let's take a look so there are like these four main screws here I think they are for the plate around the GPU and then I see like these small screws here and I believe that's what's holding down the shroud this plastic thing onto the video card so let me start by taking off those So I was able to take the fan connector off, I just, just pulled it right out and it came off. So here we have uh, this big heat sink with uh, four heat pipes, one, two, three, four. That's cooling the GPU and that seems to be the GPU plate down there. So let's 
try and take off this big giant plate with fins and see what we have underneath so I'm going to open these screws over here one two three four five six and see where it leads me block and here is the RAM sync there's the GPU there's the GPU that's the GF100 for me GPU that's used in GTX 470 and GTX 480 let me pull off the RAM sync plate so that's the RAM heatsink that cools all the memory uh, you see there's two chips missing here so I'm guessing they use the same PCB for the GTX 470 or 480 even 480 maybe and these uh, the chips used in here are Samsung here we go if you want to read the number hopefully that's readable here are the VRMs That's the power circuitry. That's I think that, that's the heatsink for the MOSFETs. So I'm back after cleaning the GPU and the heatsink. So here we go. Here's the beautiful NVIDIA GF100 GPU. That's this is the GTX 465. Uh, so it's right on there GF100 A3. A3 is the revision 3 of the silicon that's inside actually this thing that you see on there that is not the actual GPU that's a protective covering for the GPU uh, the GPU is inside this and I think this cover is soldered on so some I've seen some people take this cover off in forums but I'm not going to do that uh, since I still have to test this GPU and I can't risk it being dead so NVIDIA logo on there and here's an interesting tidbit about GPUs in case you didn't know every GPU has the date of manufacture so that's like it tells you the year and the week it was produced in so look over here 1014A3 that's the code name for this GPU that means this GPU was manufactured in 2010 and 14th week so 14th week of 2010 would be uh, around the middle of the March so this GPU was manufactured around middle of March so now you know and A3 is the silicon revision manufactured in Taiwan that's where all of these GPUs are manufactured at TSMC and this GPU is manufactured using 40 nanometer process all right, let me show you guys the heatsink. So the heatsink is basically a large copper slab that's placed over the GPU with an array of fins. And this is where the fan goes. It blows the air this way and this way, dissipating the heat that is carried that is carried between the fins by these heat pipes coming from the copper slab that's placed over the GPU. So that's how your GPU gets cooled. And as the fan blows air over these fins, this also cools the RAM heatsink. So your RAM, video memory RAM, also stays cool on the video card. So let's go ahead and put everything back. So there it is. I've assembled the card back and it is ready to be put into the system back again and start showing us some 3d gaming start pushing some pixel power 
so let's take it back into the system and I would like to thank you guys for watching this video if you like the video please rate and subscribe to my channel there's a lot of other good content too be sure to watch it and thank you again for watching and please leave your comments and please click the link to the full review on my website thank you.